Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're having a great day today. For this week's video, we've got a fun topic lined up for you guys. We're talking about taking the best and coolest features from a bunch of different brands and kind of smushing them down and creating one perfect super guitar. <laughs> So a question that comes up a lot goes something like this. If you could only play one guitar for the rest of your life, what guitar would that be? Or if your house was on fire and you could run in and pick one guitar, what would it be? Or what's you know your favorite guitar in your collection? All these are common questions that come up a lot. So that's a really hard question to answer. So today I thought we'd take a slightly different slant to that topic and talk about designing my perfect guitar. Now what really got me thinking about this topic, about how I would build my ultimate guitar, taking the best from a bunch of different brands and putting them together, is I got approached by the guys at 10S Guitars. So they make some absolutely astonishingly beautiful instruments. I'll throw up some pics as I'm talking about them. But anyway, um, they contacted me and said, Daryl, we want to build you a guitar. And I was like, for real? And they're like, yeah, we'll build you a guitar. They're starting up their custom shop and they want you know, me to be part of like, kind of like that cold open. So they said, spec it out however you want and we'll build it. And I was like, well, how specific do you want me to be? Because I can be really specific. And they said, be specific as you want. So I have like a list of like 30 different specs and I sent it off to them and they have been building it for me. So if you follow me on Instagram, I've been showing a few pics of the guitar over there. Um, but we're gonna talk about what specs I chose and hopefully it'll come together in a cohesive, beautiful instrument. So I'll throw a link to 10S in the video description below. Feel free to check them out. All right, so let's get on to the nitty gritty. Let's talk specific specs. So let's start on the headstock because the headstock determines whether your instrument's gonna hold tune or not. Super important stuff. So here we go. Unsurprisingly, for those of you guys who know me, Music Man, ultimate headstock. And I'll tell you why. There's no tilt back. So no tilt back headstock like that means it's super strong. It's got straight string pull through the nut, which means tuning stability is gonna be great. It's not like a three plus three where the strings kind of go to either side, can cause binding in the nut. And it's got locking tuners and no string trees. So zero friction points except for the nut. So if the nuts cut well, this thing's gonna hold tune. So I decided to go with an offset design, uh, not exactly like you know a music man, but the geometry, very similar. Now I know a lot of people say locking tuners don't actually affect your tuning stability, they just make changing strings easier. And I definitely disagree with that statement, especially if you're a heavy trim user. So if you don't have locking tuners and you've got three or four you know, string wraps around your post and you go to use the bar, slack in the strings, all those wraps will slacken just ever so slightly. And when you let up on the bar, it's gotta tighten up all those wraps. Again, it's just like really, you know, subtly, but it's gotta, you know, get that tension back to exactly the same point as it was before you used the bar. And it definitely affects the tuning, especially over, you know, a five minute song. If you're using your tram a lot, going down and up and down and up, and the wraps just move ever so slightly. Uh, with locking tuners, that is completely eliminated. So that's what I've chosen for my headstock. Let's move down the guitar and talk about the neck. Now the neck on my ultimate dream guitar is gonna be roasted maple. So all the moisture is gonna be taken out of the wood so it's not gonna move as much as regular maple. And if you want an example of some flame, here is the ultimate Telecaster. Now that is absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but really, really cool. And of course, uh, you guys saw me build this on the channel. Now as for the specs on the rest of my neck, I think I would choose stainless steel frets for longevity and a 10 inch radius. I find that radius is super comfortable for my hand. Uh, PRS and Music Man both use 10 on some of their guitars. Um, just a little flatter than a Fender. I find that it doesn't choke out quite as much, but not as flat as like a Les Paul. So I find that in between just super comfortable for my hand. So that's what I'd choose. Now in a surprise to absolutely none of my regular viewers, my ultimate guitar is gonna have a T-style body. Now it's not gonna be vintage like this, it's gonna have a fancy flame top on it and stuff like that, but I just like the T-style shape, always have. Um, you know, things like the Ibanez in the background there, there's a couple, there's a blue one and a burst one. 
astonishing guitars, absolutely beautiful. But for me, for my ultimate guitar, I gotta go with my heart, T-style body. Okay, so far I've borrowed the headstock geometry from a Music Man, the roasted maple neck from either Ibanez or Music Man, both of them are really doing a lot of those necks, which is really cool. Uh, the body from a Telecaster, obviously, and some comfort cuts we're going to borrow from a Strat. So this is a good example of a T-style body, but with Strat comfort cuts. So huge belly cut right here, and of course your forearm cut right here. Makes playing a T-style guitar super comfortable. And lastly, I'd love to have a contoured heel joint. So here's an example of a very inexpensive Ibanez. They've been doing this for years, makes playing so comfortable. Here is a Music Man, the neck on this, uh, the figuring is absolutely astonishing as you guys can see. Um, but we're talking about the heel joint, uh, great access on this, and they also offer it on their Sterling line. So no excuses um, for other companies who don't do this. I almost forgot the PRS lower horn scoop, I gotta have it. Now as for the finish, it's really personal taste, but I'm gonna show you guys a couple pics of the actual guitar that 10S has built. I don't have it in my hands yet, but they've sent me a few pics. Let's take a look at them. So as you guys can see, we've gone with a really cool black to teal burst. You don't see that on a ton of guitars, and I, I just thought it looked absolutely fantastic. So I'm really pumped about that. Some of the features like the pickups will be changed. They're not gonna be EMGs. I think I'll go with just some classic Duncans, but they might get swapped out, we'll see. But that's the finish I've gone with, really cool. All right, so let's tackle the electronics. Now certainly I was not gonna take any cues from Gibson in terms of geometry, in terms of weight, in terms of ergonomics, none of that stuff. But when it comes to electronics, I did. I wanted to keep things simple for this guitar so that when I'm playing live, I don't have to think about, you know, the seven or eight different tones I can get there or whatever. So very simple, three-way switch, two humbuckers, uh, with coil splits so I can still get single coil tones, which is very important to me, um, and a fixed bridge. So brace yourself and skip ahead by about a minute if you don't care about the line by line specs, but here they are. So this is the 10S order form, and I'm just gonna read you guys off exactly my perfect guitar as ordered from their custom shop. So body style is T style, single cut with contour body, right? We talked about that. Construction is solid body. Oh, we didn't talk about the body wood. It's gonna be one piece mahogany, okay? So they're gonna get me a big old wide piece uh, one solid piece of mahogany, which is going to be awesome. Uh, top is flame maple, okay? Uh, body finish is going to be black to purple to teal. And from the pictures, it looks like we didn't get a lot of purple in there. It's more of like a black to teal. I think still looks pretty good. Uh, right hand, electronics is a three-way switch, one volume and a tone, two humbuckers with coil split and middle position I requested be hum cancelling. So that's always nice when you have single coils, you can go into the middle and eliminate that hum and still get like a little bit of that telly quack, but with all, without all the 60 cycle hum. Now as for the neck and the fingerboard, here we go. So modern C profile, uh, roasted, flame maple roasted, uh, bolt on 25 and a half inch scale length, which I did not bring up previously, so that's good. Dual action truss rod, um, Fretboard is going to be flame maple as well. Radius 10 inches, which we talked about. Jumbo stainless steel frets. Uh, 22 frets. I forgot to mention that as well. So it's going to be a or like a traditional 22 fret neck um, with a DBG for Daryl Braun guitar on the 12th fret. That's a nice touch and they offered that. They're like, if you want anything special on the guitar, let us know and we'll do it. So pretty cool. Uh, bone nut. Forgot to talk about that as well. And other than that, I think that's all there is for the neck and the fingerboard. Now, as for the hardware and miscellaneous items, we've got a fixed bridge with through body construction. So it's gonna be like a Telecaster where you string it up from the back and you got the ferrules on the back. So that's gonna be great. Uh, what else? Locking tun tuning machines staggered in height. So again, we won't need string trees, which is good. And we've got uh, six strings, no pick guard, matching painted headstock, that was another option, and a case. So that wraps up sort of more of the detailed aspects of the build, which I am getting very, very excited about. So there you guys go. That's how I've spec'd out my ultimate dream guitar. Now the guys at 10S have actually built it. They sent me a few picks, so I, I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's on its way here. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, it'll get here. 
Um, and I can't wait to show you guys. So huge thanks to the guys at Tenas. I'm just doing a kind of like a cold run of their custom shop. Hopefully it turns out well. And these are the features I've stolen from other guitars and kind of mashed into one. And hopefully it turns out awesome. So let me know your dream guitar in the video description below, whether it's a custom one like this, put all the specs in because I love reading that stuff and I know other musicians do too. Or if it's an off the shelf guitar, put it in the comments below so that we can enjoy it. Thanks for watching you guys. You can hit up the t-shirt store and the tab store in the video description below. Thanks to 10S for letting me test out their custom shop service. Super, super pumped about that. So huge thank you. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time with a new video. Take care.